Hi, welcome to Senior Savvy. I'm Jane Wells, your host for today's show. Senior Savvy is brought to you by the Oshkosh Senior Center, where it's our mission to enrich the quality of life for adults ages 50 and older. And of course, one of the ways that our life is enriched is by the relationships that we have with people and, and the uh, communication and the things that we get to do together. Well, you know what? Just as it's important for each of us as individuals to have those relationships. It's also important for agencies within the community to have those relationships. And so today we're going to talk a little bit about a new partnership that we're putting together. And today my guest is Dory Wilner from Habitat for Humanity. Welcome, Dory. Thank you. Great. And we're going to talk about something that the Senior Center and Habitat and AdvoCap actually are trying to work together on, aren't we? Exactly. New Great. partnership for us as well. Yes, exciting. Um, so first of all, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? I always like to try to get a little personal information on people. Sure. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my role with the uh, Habitat organization is Family Services Coordinator, mm -hmm. which means that I am out in the community recruiting families that might be eligible for our home ownership program, and then helping them through the application, uh, the volunteer time with their own home, and then into their actual, the ownership of their home. So it's kind of neat because you actually get to see it all the way through to the end. I do, <laughs> right, right. From the application to the lot selection to picking out the countertops to the, the blessing on the yeah. day the family gets the keys. So that is neat to neat. be able to follow the whole process. It is, yeah. Kind of because some of, you know, other people just have roles along the way right. or pieces and parts of it. Right, so. and sometimes, you know, volunteers have, um, have a, you know, they come for a day and uh, don't see the whole piece, but sure. they're always welcome to be involved as yeah. much as they want, certainly. Very neat. Yeah. So just in case there is somebody out there who doesn't know what Habitat is, why don't you tell us a little bit about it? I appreciate that opportunity because uh, a lot of people uh, associate Habitat with Humanity with President Jimmy Carter and mm -hmm. his wife Rosalind, who still at 80-something uh, do a week-long build somewhere in the world wow. every year. But Habitat uh, for Humanity was started in the mid-70s in a response to the need for affordable housing. Mm -hmm. did come out of the state of Georgia at the time. But to show you uh, how it's grown, last year Habitat is an international organization. Mm -hmm. Okay. And last year, they finished, finished their 990,000th home oh in the world. So uh, Habitat is building in many parts of the world. Mm -hmm. um, houses look different wherever they build. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's a cinder block and a tin roof. Obviously, North America, it's a house uh, uh, with a you know, our standard construction. Uh, it's interesting because Habitat uh, was started by 12 clergy members here in Oshkosh who actually went to Milwaukee in 1987 and Ooh. helped President Carter build a block of homes. They do a oh, blitz wow. build where they build actually sure. a city block of <clears throat> homes. And the pastors came back and said, we need this and we can do it in Oshkosh. So in 1990, Habitat for Humanity of Oshkosh was founded and mm. we've been building since and this year we're finishing uh, working right now on our 30th home. And for the last five years in the city of Oshkosh, we's, we've actually been the largest new home builder oh my in goodness. the city of Oshkosh. <laughs> now we know the construction market is, is different, right. but we have been a big new home builder in the, in the community. So well established as a building and uh, lender Very for mortgages. Neat. Very mm -hmm. neat. Um, and thank goodness for the foresight for those gentlemen who were yes. thinking, you know what, we need this in our community. Right. And you said 30 homes since 1990, right. which is about how many homes a year? Well, we it's changed uh, every year. Uh, we started out very slowly with one or two. This year we'll build four homes. Mm. So we're kind of on track to build <coughs> about four homes a year. Wow. We do one, we are working on a rehab home right now. Mm -hmm. We'll talk a little bit more about that. You'll yep. actually see yes, exactly. some film footage on that. And then we'll build three more new homes. Uh, this build season. Wow. Yep. That's amazing, isn't it? When you really it think is. about it. Yeah. So, um, land wise and stuff like that, you know, in the city, it gets a little bit harder to find the places to build, right. doesn't it? Right. Our yeah. resources, uh, that, you know, we require lots of things uh, volunteers, uh, funding, and land, of mm -hmm. course, and mm -hmm. the families. I mean, they're, you know, that's right. important. Yep. Because we don't start a home without a family in mind. Mm -hmm. So we don't build spec homes or just build a home right. and put someone in it. So um, land comes from donations, uh, mm -hmm. the s uh, private donations. Uh, the city may have a lot that they've, uh, that's empty that they would like, uh, you know, home. To sure. ad adds to the tax base, obviously, yep. the economic yep. value of it. And then uh, sometimes we can purchase through bank programs or okay. receive them sure. for nothing. And if the home is in poor condition, we'll raise the home and then put in a mm -hmm. new home. Mm -hmm. so. so the variety, so families don't have 
Uh, don't pick uh, necessarily from a wide uh, selection. They're given a couple choices on the, on the site that sure. they're going to build, we'll build with them. And then um, we go from there. Okay, yeah. super. Well, you, you alluded to this just a few minutes ago, but I did have the chance to go out to the current I'm build you site. Did. I yes. did too. It was really neat. And, and, and Doug was out there, and he's the project manager. Right. And he was very gracious, um, as were all the people, because, you know, I kind of came in and just started putting microphones in people's faces. <laughs> um, that but, was a big volunteer day, too, I think. Yes. There were a lot of people there. Um, but the neat thing about that is, it, it's the re, it's a rebuild. Yes. Right. Exactly. So, um, so you know, there's a lot of different challenges with something like that. Yes, there is. Yeah. Right. Um, the reason we did that is we received that home through uh, a Chase Bank REO program, it's called, and we were at the same time uh, an applicant had come to us with a larger family, mm -hmm. and new construction many times is too expensive right. for larger families. So right. we found that this home could be redesigned in the interior to mm -hmm. accommodate the bedroom space that that family needed. Right, so. right. And so part of my purpose in going there was to talk to not only Doug about, you know, what it's like to manage a project like that, but also to get it get the volunteers take as to what it's like to be volunteering for Habitat for Humanity. So, yep. you know, while Doug was out busy working, I'm like, okay, so give us a scoop here. <laughs> Cornered so, a few volunteers. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, but, you know, it was it's wonderful what they had to say, and it was neat just to pop in and even see a little bit about it. So well, I'm glad you did it spontaneously because it yep. does give you a chance yep. to see it firsthand. It does take 1,600, takes us four months to build a new home, but it does take 1,600 volunteer hours to complete oh, a home. So, and that's volunteers of all types. So right. I know we'll get a chance to talk more about that, but right. uh, lots of people involved in lots of different ways. Sure, exactly. All right. So how about we watch that uh, That'd little be great. video I shot? I'm okay, excited. Great. <laughs> Doug Russell, who is heading up this build team. And Doug, tell us a little bit about what you're doing here and what it's like to be on a build team. Well, what we have here is a rehab we're doing, 738 Oak Street. We uh, have a five bedroom is what we're putting in here. We've got a larger partner family, so they need five bedrooms. It can be two baths. And the cost of building a new five bedroom can be quite prohibitive. Exactly. So uh, what we're hoping to do is be able to rehab this uh, for less than what it would cost to build new. Right. Great. So it's been a challenge, but uh, we've got a lot of good help here. Awesome. Today we've got Oshkosh Truck. They've been partnering for some time, and uh, they're, we're, we're getting ready to uh, close up here today, so they're coming in and out. Uh, but we got a lot of work done today, and um, we're hoping to get the roof on soon, and uh, we'll start on our, we've got most of our mechanicals in, and we're ready for insulation and then drywall, and then we move on to the finish. So. Okay, so if I was interested in joining the build mm -hmm. and I don't know a whole lot about construction is there still a role that I can play? Ab absolutely. Or? Okay. absolutely we have a lot of people that show up uh, on occasion some people have some skills but it's our job <laughs> to actually find work okay. that uh, everyone can do um, so a lot of times you know that's our job right and so um, normally on a new construction it's a little bit easier this is a little more challenging because mm -hmm. we have a lot of uh, pre-existing conditions that we're trying to work through. So an old house, not exactly level and square, is that what you're no. saying? No, <laughs> not at all, not at all. Exactly. This was built in 1906. <laughs> okay. And um, yeah, nothing, yeah. so it's, there's some extra challenge, but uh, it's been interesting. Well, again, we've had a lot of wonderful people come out mm -hmm. and uh, there's plenty of work to be done. And so on the site, you're kind of the go-to guy, yeah, right? If yeah, I have a question yeah, about something or you're the yeah. one telling yeah, yeah, the, st the yeah, team yeah. what to do and so we have a list of things that we need okay. to get done and um, that's what we work off of so yeah good yeah so when do you hope to have this one complete well we're hoping about mid-september it may be okay. a little later september perhaps okay <laughs> yeah. all depends yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well great well thank you for taking the time and letting You're us welcome. come on out and film and we're going to try and catch a couple of your workers before they head Wonderful. out just to see you get their opinion of what it's like to work on you no what it's like <laughs> to be on a build team and yeah. you know some of the experiences and how that enriches their life yeah but we can take all you know there is a, a an age 16 or older that we need to have uh, mm -hmm. due to liability and such but other than that you know especially for those people maybe that have been retired maybe they did this as a trade exactly. um, you know we've got plenty of people to do the work so if they were to come out and help me right. run groups 
so we can use their experience, ah, sure. and we've got the young people to do the do the physical work. So that's that's uh, a great point. But right. there's other things that can be done too. Uh, having a site host helps out, so someone can come out and help people sign in. Okay, that can be done. We also need lunches <clears throat> yep. for our hungry workers, and that's another thing. So. It's not necessarily just construction. Right. So there's a lot of different opportunities. If people are interested, give us a call, 235-3535. Okay. And we have things to do. Awesome, <laughs> awesome, that's great. And I know Jay's gonna be in the studio with us Wonderful. too. So we're gonna sure. repeat a lot of that information Absolutely. if you have questions. But again, thanks for letting Thank us you. stop on by. I'm curious to watch the progress and we're gonna go poke our little microphones in Very other good. people's faces All in right, there. good luck. Thank you. All right, so now we've moved to the inside of the house and I have with me, I'm Laura from Oshkosh Corporation. And Laura, um, how, how long have you been here? Since what time today? Uh, we arrived at 8 o'clock this morning. Great. And the foreman uh, gave us a rundown of what we need to get accomplished okay. here today. So it's been a busy day. Sure. And we're in the process of cleaning up right now. Sure. So um, when you come in, it's pretty organized and you know what's expected during the day. Yes, and it's very well done. Um, he, he first explains the project. Mm -hmm. um, and the structure, the existing structure of how it was okay. and what they had to do to get it where it is now. Okay. And then the, and the expectations for the day. And then Super. we oh, go good. outside and get our tools and everything and he breaks us into teams. Okay. And then we start uh, working on the projects. Good. And so you weren't asked to do anything that you felt, oh man, there's no way I can no, do that. Yeah. Or anything uh, like that. Uh, we got to volunteer for whatever we wanted. Super. And they're, uh, they have things for all skill levels, okay. which is great because I'm not really a, <laughs> a good builder. Okay. So I did the foaming today, which Wonderful. was perfect for my skill level. So foaming is like spraying um, stuff yeah, into it's, cracks um, and crevices? On the window and, over here, okay. um, it's spraying, spraying the yellow foam around the outside of, to sure. fill in the cracks okay. and openings. Well, good. Yeah. Yeah. So very cool that you're willing to come on out today mm -hmm. and that Oshkosh Corp is, yeah. you know, letting you guys yeah. taking a day to come yeah. on out and help. Yeah. That's it, wonderful. Yeah, it's been a great day, a busy day. And yes. So. I bet you're curious to see how it's all going to turn out in the end. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and uh, the family that's going to have this home is, is very fortunate. Uh, there's, uh, It's a pretty big home. It uh, has five bedrooms wow. and two bathrooms. And uh, the work they're doing is uh, for a really good cause. Very cool. Well, and, thank you for taking uh, the time to sorry. let me you know, come Not on in sure. and just like, okay, I want to talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> thank well, you. thank you for coming out and advertising this worthy cause. No problem. Um, my name is Mark Bolfer. I live here in Oshkosh and uh, was part of the Oshkosh Corp team from International Sales and Service Division here today. We've had the opportunity to come in and, and be part of the community activities here. We're, uh, uh, it was a good day. It's a, a little different. Nice to be out of the office, as they could say. And um, this is my second one that I've been okay. on. Uh, actually, we did one uh, down in uh, New Orleans when, when oh, they wow. had the, okay. the hurricane down there. We were down and, and did some work for them there. So that's uh, uh, been it for us. But yeah, it, this is uh, a good project and we hope that there's absolutely the opportunity that everyone gets a benefit out of it for the right. community, right. Uh, fixing up the places as well as people that uh, need the home and, and makes it very affordable for them. Sure. So, fantastic. So tell me, um, before you ever came on a build, did you have an idea of what it would be like and then compare it to what it actually is like? Um, I do a lot of home reconstruction already. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it was uh, what I expected. Cooler tools than you have at home uh, or not about the same. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, a lot of things like that. So no, it, it's... Uh, uh, was when they said an older home, it was mm -hmm. it was what I probably expected it was going to be. Sure. So. Uh, and you don't have to bring your own tools or have no, your own no, tools. No, no, no. They supply anything. everything here for you. Anything okay. you need. Uh, they had uh, drinks for us all day so that okay. we we could stay hydrated. Uh, also brought us in a, a good lunch uh, for Wonderful. the day, and then um, yeah, you know it's good good team build there. And they right. watched out. They they gave you good leadership. Doug's uh, the, the, the the foreman on the job and. So yeah, it was a good day. It worked very well. 
Super. And so. tomorrow it's back to the office. Back to it? the office. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you so. for um, sharing your story Absolutely. with us a little bit and for Great. taking the time to come on out and be a part of the build. My pleasure. Thank you. Nice thank to meet you. you. And I have a couple more gentlemen joining me who are part of the build team today. And gentlemen, would you mind introducing yourselves and telling us a little bit about what your day has been like today? Certainly. Uh, my name's Dan Olivier. I live in Appleton, but work at Oshkosh here in town. And uh, spent the day here with my colleagues uh, uh, doing some project work on this, this home, uh, which a family will be living in here in the next few months. And it was very rewarding to be able to, to help out others and spend time with, with my, my workmates away from the office. And uh, we spent time basically doing a lot of different projects around the home here today. It's an older home. And uh, it was just very, very nice to be able to help out. Hi there, I'm John McGuire. I, uh, I spent the day here with the uh, uh, with this project, with my workmates as well. I enjoyed it. I like giving back to the community, and um, it was a great day. Thanks. It's got to feel kind of neat to know that, you know, hopefully, what, six weeks from now-ish, um, somebody's going to be moving in here and this is going to be their home, and that you have played a role in them having a home. Mm -hmm. That's really great, giving back to the community and knowing that uh, somebody's going to make use of this home instead of it being torn down or some other purpose. Right. Yeah. So physically, how do you feel, gentlemen, after a day? I feel great. It was, I mean, it was a lot of work and mm -hmm. a little bit of sweating, but uh, it was definitely some good exercise and it was definitely a nice day. It was great seeing all the whole team here together, everybody with different skills uh, working on this all day. It was uh, really a good experience. Wonderful. Good. Well, thank you very much for sharing your story with us and encouraging. So someone sitting at home on the couch going, should I do something like that or not? What, would, what advice would you have to give them? I'd say Habitat's a great cause. And, and if you have the time and the ability to come out, you know, there's a lot of different projects that can be done for people of, of all abilities. And I definitely highly recommend it. I had a great time. I couldn't imagine, uh, you know, getting out and you, you got to just try it. So come on out. Perfect. Thank you, guys. So as often goes, it's all about the volunteers, isn't it? And that's yes. what you and I are going to talk a little bit about because that's what our partnership is about. Yes. Um, it was wonderful. I'm so thankful for the crew for taking the time to, to uh, you know, tell me a little bit about their perspective on it. Because right. it's always interesting, you know, you have preconceived ideas before you go into something like that sometimes. And, yeah. and to hear them, you know, just say, nope, you know what, it's laid out really well. They'll tell you what you need to know and, you know, won't put you outside your comfort zone? Or? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So volunteers, who can volunteer at a build? Uh, the only, uh, we have some restrictions on, on youth because mm -hmm. of insurance reasons, mm -hmm. 14, under 16. But um, 16 and older, there's a variety of tasks. Uh, 16 to 18, there are some restrictions as well. Mm -hmm. But again, we're kind of focusing on building a, what we're calling a more, a wiser crew, the senior, exactly. I, I don't know about the senior crew. Right. I think the volunteers will pick the name for this. Yes, exactly. But uh, we're looking for uh, a group of people who have just life experience. It doesn't right. have to be construction or right. trade experience either, who are willing to work with a small group of volunteers mm -hmm. on a site. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're Doug, they're kind of the liaison between the everybody who's there and the construction manager. Right. Because Doug alone, uh, the construction manager, is managing all the groups. And uh, if he had a few people that he could right. uh, lean on right. uh, to uh, make sure the checklist gets done. Right. Uh, and as somebody mentioned, I think he did, is that we also need people to uh, act as site hosts or sure. hostesses. So when the volunteers first come in the morning, there's a point. Okay, here's right. where you check in. Exactly. Uh, right. There's a form that everybody needs to fill out. Mm -hmm. um, somebody with a clipboard and a pen and a smile, you know, yep. good morning. A yep. uh, cup of coffee as the weather gets cooler. Yes. Uh, we uh, also serve our volunteers on the work days of lunch. Mm -hmm. So um, maybe running to a local restaurant that's donated lunch. Okay, I was going to say, tell me a little bit about that because, you know, at the Senior Center, we do have people who love to cook. Yes. Um, you know, so is it that they prepare the meal or is it that they're transporting the meal or is it a combination? 
kitchen depending on the day? Right, or? a little bit of everything. Sure. We're lucky to have uh, some restaurants that support us on a regular basis on a one day of the week. Oh, wonderful. Um, our food uh, provider. Uh, we're looking for groups, uh, you know, a church group maybe that mm -hmm. has a nice kitchen where there's usually up to 15 people on a site. So okay. it's not a million people. Right. But they can make, it can be sandwiches and uh, some chips. It could be a casserole, whatever. Sure. Uh, somebody could cook and bring it, but the volunteer uh, person who would coordinate that may run to a local restaurant mm -hmm. and pick up a do donation, mm -hmm. then just make sure it's out for the volunteers, and um, and so up. they may be driving, yeah. but uh, right. so that is one thing if you want to do that and consider, maybe it's only, it be from like 11 to 12.30, so it's the middle of the day, run out to a restaurant, sure. drop the food off. Right pick up and then yep. leave. It's just not a full day commitment. And yet, if you're the person there working, oh man, you it's love invaluable. that lunch lady or that lunch man, right? <laughs> it's, exactly. it's invaluable. It's exactly. invaluable. Yep. I do want to go back to a point I think that Doug even brought up about, and you did too, um, somebody who's retired. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, you know, the mind is still willing to do it, but sometimes the body says, eh, I don't think so. Right. But you know what? taking advantage of that expertise that that person has and and then that person mentoring somebody younger and coaching exactly. them through it exactly um, how valuable is that yep and it's a, <clears throat> it's an opportunity for that person to socialize with some new people yes exactly um, they're being respected for their yes. uh, wisdom in right. that setting because right. they're identified as a crew leader right and um, again uh, I think the gal mentioned too that you're not asked to roof or right. you know if the, you're only right. asked to do what's in your comfort zone and that mm -hmm. would be true with this group as well right. and we're right. hoping that this group kind of becomes a team and that they kind of work off each other and they can decide pretty much who does what days um, sure. it, it sure. can be individuals it doesn't right. have to be a group either right you know we're just we're really open and we're hoping right. that the um, AvoCap RSVP program has been speaking sure. with yes. some of their volunteers yes. as you have at right. the senior center well you know and I think about the talent that we see at the senior center is yeah. unbelievable right. and this would be a great venue for some of them you know to yeah they're done with their their regular job but they still want to have their hands in something right. you know to a certain degree this would be a perfect fit and and it doesn't matter if they don't know how to build specifically no. you know if you've no. got experience leading or you have there's just exactly. so many different ways in which this fits right. to all of our organizations. Because we know in many jobs, uh, project uh, organizational skills and uh, project leadership, getting something done yes. is what we need. Right. Is That's the basic skill is being right. organized. And you know, the Senior Center already is involved with us. They provide the quilting, the Wisconsin yes, Warmers, exactly. uh, provide quilts for each new family member uh, at their home dedication. Which is so it's a spectacular. Wonderful so this neat. would be backing up to the actual yep, building. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. No. So if somebody is interested in becoming involved, they can call Habitat for Humanity. Exactly. They can call the Oshkosh Senior Center, or right. they can call AdvoCap, and we will get them funneled into exactly. this Exactly. particular group in this build. So this build is ending roughly the end of September. Do you have uh, another one scheduled? Right. Well, ha we'll actually be building three more homes before Still, uh, winter. Before this, oh well, well, we'll uh, get two more done and put in the foundation and the, uh, the surface, the flooring for the wow. fourth house. We hope so that over the winter, as soon as the thaw mm -hmm. comes next spring, we'll be ready to go with that. So we will be uh, starting another house on Algoma Boulevard uh, in about two weeks. Mm -hmm. And then we have a third house that will be done on, so on the south side on 4th. Okay. Uh, yet this summer. So So the one at Algoma go. Boulevard, you're, you're hosting an event there, aren't you? Yes. Um, mm -hmm. um, on the 25th of September, this is an opportunity to come to a new build site, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to have refreshments. And what we'd like to do is just show people uh, kind of what you exactly. did on the video. Right. Uh, just show up. We'll walk you through where we're at, kind of mm -hmm. tell you, show you the plans for the finished product. Um, and uh, j there's no commitment at that time. We just want to introduce ourselves to people who might be right. interested. So again, that would be on? It's Wednesday, the 25th of September okay. at 5.30 p.m. At that Algoma at, address. Right, and it's 1635 Algoma. Okay. There isn't an address there yet. It's an empty lot <laughs> right now if you want to drive Look, by. Yes. It's Hollister and Algoma. It's kind of just north of the Payne mm -hmm. so, uh, Art and, Museum. And what a perfect opportunity to go check it out kind of exactly. safely, per se, or whatever, but right. just to 
you know, if there are any barriers or any like, hmm, not sure, go right. check it out, go ask questions, go see what it's all about, meet some right. of the people involved. Doug was very approachable, oh, yeah. um, very pleasant to work with. So yeah, he's yeah. Uh, you know he's a great uh, construction manager, and uh, we are because we've been doing this for you know almost thirty years. <laughs> uh, there's a plan. Our houses are not you know it's, uh, special designs. Right. They're not spec houses either, but we have pretty standard plans, so sure. Um, sure. people will be familiar with the pl with yeah. the project. Well, Dory, thank you so much for your willingness to come on the show and to, to help, it. you know, talk about this and, and the partnership that we're working on with this. Um, right. We just invite anybody, you know, any yep. of the 50, your watchers in particular, 50 yes. and olders, come out and check us out. Yes. And are, are the builds only during the week or are they also on the weekends? Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, okay. sometimes Thursdays. Okay. So even if you're working full time, there's still an opportunity. Saturday. Yes, yep. exactly. We'd love to have anybody come out. Okay, great. Thanks. Thanks Thank for you. The, for the opportunity <laughs> to talk about it. Wonderful. And next, of course, we have upcoming events at the Oshkosh Senior Center. And if you're watching it, the first part is September. Please join us for Fall Family Fun Fest, which is on September 7th, as well as our Granny Smith Walk Run. So real quick, slip that in there. All right. So driving. Sometimes seniors in driving... Um, sometimes you need a refresher course. So we are offering the AARP driver safety course on Tuesday, September 9th, 8 a.m. till 1230. Um, it is $15 if you're an AARP member or $20 for a non-member. And statistically, 97% of those who take this course change at least one driving behavior. Um, and the best part of it all is there aren't any tests that you need to study for or anything like that. It's more just useful information and things to kind of refresh your memory about safety and things like that. And of course, with the roundabouts, those can be challenging and who's supposed to be in what lane and, and all that other stuff. So come on down and check out the AARP driving course. Also on Wednesday, September 24th from 11 to 3.30, it is Women's National Women's Health and Fitness Day. Come on down. We're going to have speakers on sleep issues, aging issues, fitness walking, nutrition, small steps you can take to start improving your health because we all know that we want to age healthy. Are you a Packer fan? Come on down to the game or come on down to the senior center and watch games with others. Um, sometimes it's more fun to do it with a bunch of people. Bring some food to share, your own non-alcoholic beverage and come on down Sunday, September 14th, the 325 game, Sunday, September 20th, September 21st, the noon game, and Sunday, September 28th, the noon game. And the Senior Center will open about 30 minutes before the game starts. So again, that's in the South Building. Um, our Knitting Lab, I just want to highlight that a little bit because the ladies that are a part of our Knitting Lab do so much good community service work. Um, they're part of an anti-bullying campaign in the middle schools. They knit hats and mittens and everything for um, the community and they have so much fun doing it. They laugh and giggle like you wouldn't believe. So come on down on a Thursday morning and check out the Knitting Club. Um, real quickly, some things to add to your calendar for October. Flu Clinic will be at the Oshkosh Senior Center every Wednesday in October from 9 to noon in the South Building. And we are going to welcome in October with the Pressers, Helmet, and Darlene coming in to do a German concert. And we will be having German dessert that day. And that's on Tuesday, October 7th at 1.30. And then if you do enjoy classical music, come on down for Mary Ellen Pung. And that would be Sunday, October 26th at 1.30 p.m. And... Um, Free will donations are being offered or accepted that day. So we have lots of opportunities to be involved, lots of opportunities to do things, um, listen to music, come on down and have some fun. So we hope to see you at the Oshkosh Senior Center really soon. Think about that volunteer opportunity through Habitat, Evocap, and the Oshkosh Senior Center because it all is about helping to support our community and others in our community and just networking and getting those relationships. Thanks for watching Senior Savvy. See you next time.